a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Gout Gout is a form of inflammatory arthritis characterized by recurrent attacks of a red, tender, hot, and swollen joint. Pain typically comes on rapidly in less than 12 hours. The joint at the base of the big toe is affected in about half of cases. It may also result in tophi, kidney stones, or urate nephropathy. Gout is due to elevated levels of uric acid in the blood. This occurs due to a combination of diet and genetic factors. At high levels, uric acid crystallizes and the crystals deposit in joints, tendons, and surrounding tissues, resulting in an attack of gout. Gout occurs more commonly in those who regularly eat meat or seafood, drink beer, or are overweight. Diagnosis of gout may be confirmed by the presence of crystals in the joint fluid or tophus. Blood uric acid levels may be normal during an attack. Treatment with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, steroids, or colchicine improves symptoms. Once the acute attack subsides, levels of uric acid can be lowered via lifestyle changes and in those with frequent attacks, allopurinol or probenicid provides long-term prevention. Taking vitamin C and eating a diet high in low-fat dairy products may be preventive. Gout affects about 1-2% of the Western population at some point in their lives. It has become more common in recent decades. This is believed to be due to increasing risk factors in the population, such as metabolic syndrome, longer life expectancy, and changes in diet. Older males are most commonly affected. Gout was historically known as the disease of kings, or rich man's disease. It has been recognized at least since the time of the ancient Egyptians. Signs and Symptoms Gout can present in multiple ways, although the most usual is a recurrent attack of acute inflammatory arthritis. The metatarsal phalangeal joint at the base of the big toe is affected most often, accounting for half of cases. Other joints, such as the heels, knees, wrists, and fingers, may also be affected. Joint pain usually begins over 2-4 hours and during the night. This is mainly due to lower body temperature. Other symptoms may rarely occur along with the joint pain, including fatigue and a high fever. Long-standing elevated uric acid levels may result in other symptoms, including hard, painless deposits of uric acid crystals known as tophi. Extensive tophi may lead to chronic arthritis due to bone erosion. Elevated levels of uric acid may also lead to crystals precipitating in the kidneys, resulting in stone formation and subsequent urate nephropathy. Cause The crystallization of uric acid, often related to relatively high levels in the blood, is the underlying cause of gout. This can occur because of diet, genetic predisposition, or under-excretion of urate, the salts of uric acid. Under excretion of uric acid by the kidney is the primary cause of hyperuricemia in about 90% of cases, while overproduction is the cause in less than 10%. About 10% of people with hyperuricemia develop gout at some point in their lifetimes. The risk, however, varies depending on the degree of hyperuricemia. When levels are between 415 and 530 moles L, the risk is half a percent per year while in those with a level greater than 535 mL, the risk is 4.5% per year. Lifestyle Dietary causes account for about 12% of gout, and include a strong association with the consumption of alcohol, fructose-sweetened drinks, meat, and seafood. Among foods richest in purines yielding high amounts of uric acid are dried anchovies, shrimp, organ meat, dried mushrooms, seaweed, and beer yeast. Other triggers include physical trauma and surgery. Studies in the early 2000s found that other dietary factors are not relevant. Specifically, moderate consumption of purine-rich vegetables are not associated with gout. Neither is total consumption of protein. Alcohol consumption is strongly associated with increased risk, with wine presenting somewhat less of a risk than beer or spirits. The consumption of coffee, vitamin C, and dairy products, as well as physical fitness, appear to decrease the risk. This is believed to be partly due to their effect in reducing insulin resistance. Genetics 
gout is partly genetic, contributing to about 60% of variability in uric acid level. The SLC2A9, SLC22A12, and ABCG2 genes have been found to be commonly associated with gout and variations in them can approximately double the risk. Loss of function mutations in SLC2A9 and SLC22A12 cause hereditary hyporacemia by reducing urate absorption and unopposed urate secretion. The rare genetic disorders familial juvenile hyperuricemic nephropathy, medullary cystic kidney disease, phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate synthetase superactivity and hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase deficiency as seen in Leshnian syndrome, are complicated by gout. Medical conditions Gout frequently occurs in combination with other medical problems. Metabolic syndrome, a combination of abdominal obesity, hypertension, insulin resistance, and abnormal lipid levels, occurs in nearly 75% of cases. Other conditions commonly complicated by gout include lead poisoning, kidney failure, hemolytic anemia, psoriasis, solid organ transplants and myeloproliferative disorders such as polycythemia. A body mass index greater than or equal to 35 increases male risk of gout threefold. Chronic lead exposure and lead contaminated alcohol are risk factors for gout due to the harmful effect of lead on kidney function. Leshnian syndrome is often associated with gouty arthritis. Medication Diuretics have been associated with attacks of gout. However, a low dose of hydrochlorothiazide does not seem to increase risk. Other medications that increase the risk include niacin, aspirin, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, beta blockers, ritonavir, and pyrazinamide. The immunosuppressive drugs cyclosporin and tacrolimus are also associated with gout, the former more so when used in combination with hydrochlorothiazide. Pathophysiology Gout is a disorder of purine metabolism, and occurs when its final metabolite, uric acid, crystallizes in the form of monosodium urate, precipitating and forming deposits in joints, on tendons, and in the surrounding tissues. Microscopic tophy may be walled off by a ring of proteins, which blocks interaction of the crystals with cells and therefore avoids inflammation. Naked crystals may break out of walled off tophy due to minor physical damage to the joint, medical or surgical stress, or rapid changes in uric acid levels. When they break through the tophy, they trigger a local immune-mediated inflammatory reaction in macrophages, which is initiated by the NLRP3 inflammation protein complex. Activation of the NLRP3 inflammation recruits the enzyme caspase 1, which converts pro-interleukin 1 beta into active interleukin 1 beta, one of the key proteins in the inflammatory cascade. An evolutionary loss of urate oxidase, which breaks down uric acid, in humans and higher primates has made this condition common. The triggers for precipitation of uric acid are not well understood. While it may crystallize at normal levels, it is more likely to do so as levels increase. Other triggers believed to be important in acute episodes of arthritis include cool temperatures, rapid changes in uric acid levels, acidosis, articular hydration and extracellular matrix proteins, such as proteoglycans, collagens, and chondroitin sulfate. The increased precipitation at low temperatures partly explains why the joints in the feet are most commonly affected. Rapid changes in uric acid may occur due to factors including trauma, surgery, chemotherapy, diuretics, and stopping or starting allopurinol, calcium channel blockers, and lusartan are associated with a low risk of gout compared to other medications for hypertension. Diagnosis Gout may be diagnosed and treated without further investigations in someone with hyperuricemia and the classic acute arthritis of the base of the great doe. Synovial fluid analysis should be done, however, if the diagnosis is in doubt. X-rays, while useful for identifying chronic gout, have little utility in acute attacks. Synovial fluid A definitive diagnosis of gout is based upon the identification of monosodium urate crystals in synovial fluid or atophus. All synovial fluid samples obtained from undiagnosed inflamed joints by arthrocentesis should be examined for these crystals. Under polarized light microscopy, they have a needle-like morphology and strong negative birefringence. 
This test is difficult to perform, and requires a trained observer. The fluid must be examined relatively soon after aspiration, as temperature and pH affect solubility. Blood tests Hyperuricemia is a classic feature of gout, but nearly half of the time gout occurs without hyperuricemia and most people with raised uric acid levels never develop gout. Thus, the diagnostic utility of measuring uric acid levels is limited. Hyperuricemia is defined as a plasma urate level greater than 420 mol/l in males and 360 mol/l in females. Other blood tests commonly performed are white blood cell count, electrolytes, kidney function and erythrocyte sedimentation rate. However, both the white blood cells and ESR may be elevated due to gout in the absence of infection. A white blood cell count as high as 40.0 times 109 slash L has been documented. Differential Diagnosis The most important differential diagnosis in gout is septic arthritis. This should be considered in those with signs of infection, or those who do not improve with treatment. To help with diagnosis, a synovial fluid gram stain and culture may be performed. Other conditions that can look similar include pseudogout, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and reactive arthritis. Gautitophy, in particular when not located in a joint, can be mistaken for basal cell carcinoma or other neoplasms. Prevention both lifestyle changes and medications can decrease uric acid levels. Dietary and lifestyle choices that are effective include reducing intake of purine-rich foods of animal origin such as meat and seafood, alcohol, and fructose. Eating dairy products, vitamin C, coffee, and cherries may help prevent gout attacks, as does losing weight. Gout may be secondary to sleep apnea via the release of purines from oxygen-starved cells. Treatment of apnea can lessen the occurrence of attacks. Treatment The initial aim of treatment is to settle the symptoms of an acute attack. Repeated attacks can be prevented by medications that reduce serum uric acid levels. Tentative evidence supports the application of ice for 20 to 30 minutes several times a day to decrease pain. Options for acute treatment include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, colchicine, and steroids. While steroids and NSAIDs work equally well, steroids may be safer. Options for prevention include allopurinol, fxostat, and probenicid. Lowering uric acid levels can cure the disease. Treatment of associated health problems is also important. Lifestyle interventions have been poorly studied. It is unclear whether dietary supplements have an effect in people with gout. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?